when I was in my 20s, I thought that I was ugly. I thought that there was something wrong with my personality or there must be a reason why no one that I likes likes me. And I thought that most people must have something against. It was one of those things because no one that I was really into was into me. And that really made me sad. It really made me depressed. And the only people that were interested in me were women that I thought were so far below what I was attracted to that I honestly was insulted when they would show interest. And I know that sounds bad and judgmental, and the truth is it is, but when you have someone who's like basically obese, who's like really interested in you and wants to get with you, and <laughs> you're not that kind of person, you think, okay, well maybe I'm at that level. Maybe there's like my personality or my look, or there's something about me that must be at that level that makes this person feel like she has a chance to get with me. And I walked through life feeling like this for so long. And so I thought, okay, well, the only way that I'm ever going to be successful is just to work really, really hard. So that's what I went out to do. And it's funny, as I went out and made attempts and tried, I tried really, really hard to get better at this. And basically what I did was started to get a little bit of success. So when I did this, what I realized as I got older, and now I, as I talk to you, 32, almost 33, I realized that I wasn't that bad to begin with, okay? And I think a lot of guys, they get into this, and I know they're probably gonna write some negative comments right now, saying that, well, you know, you you can say that because you're better looking. Dude, I thought every guy had something that I did. I thought every guy that was successful had this like magical quality, or they were just better looking than me, or there was something wrong with me. And I use that as, as an excuse for why people didn't like me and why I must not be successful. I thought that I was alone in thinking this. I thought that I was the only guy in the world who thought this, but as I've come through this process and as I grew my business, I realized that there's a lot of guys who feel like this. And so that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. I'm gonna talk about why a lot of guys feel like there's just something wrong with them, why they feel like there's, there's something that's unattractive about them. They are an unattractive person and why they are actually a lot more attractive than they think, okay? And some of this is not your fault. Society isn't as kind as we like to think it is to men. It's not kind at all. You know, when I grew up in school, it was like men have it all and women are just, you know, we're the second class citizens and we need to do everything we can to try and help them. And I'm growing up thinking, wait a minute. So when I go to the bar and uh, they, I don't get served or whenever I'm alone and no one tries to help me, or when all these like, special programs are just for women all the time and they're constantly being checked on and they get all the likes on dating apps and they get all the help and attention from men, they get into parties for free, like all of this, all this benefit to being a woman and I don't get any of that and there's still somehow I should be, you know, saying, oh, well, you know, life is, life is hard for them. And look, I get there's, you know, I get there's advantages to being a guy, but when you're a young guy at that age, like you really don't see them. And it's like, you're pretty much in a mode where like those kinds of people are getting everything. You know, like the really top guys and women, it seems like they have an advantage and they have like it's all these privileges in life and you're just left to the wayside and nobody cares about you. That's really how I felt when I was at that age. And so what I'm gonna talk about are some of the things that reasons why guys feel like this, how you can overcome them, and why you're a lot more attractive than you think. Because if you actually believe, if you actually have a different mindset, if you actually do the different things that I'm talking about, you're gonna do a lot better with women, okay? And then you're gonna be more motivated to do better with women, okay? That's the biggest thing here, is because a lot of guys lose motivation because they believe that they're unattractive. If you believe you're unattractive, how well do you think you're gonna do with women versus a guy who thinks he's amazingly attractive? Even if that guy is really ugly, if he thinks he's really good looking, he's actually gonna do not bad. So if you can have this mentality, it's going to help you. And I'm gonna prove it to you, all right? So here are the things that are telling you that you're not attractive. I went through all of these when I was growing up. It's changed a little bit, but it's more or less the same, okay? So there's three areas that I'm gonna focus on for why men think they're unattractive in today's day and age. Number one is dating apps, okay? So you go on dating apps, I would go on dating apps, I would swipe 100 times and I wouldn't get any matches, okay? So when I did this, I really started to feel like I'm unattractive, okay? And how would anybody think any differently, right? If you're on an application and you say all these women are attractive and none of them say you're attractive, then what do you think? <laughs> you're gonna think that, hey, I must not be attractive. What is the other possible conclusion? I'll explain in a minute why that's not, that's not, that's not the case. Um, then the second thing was social media. So you see online, back, you know, when I was in high school, we only used like, 
MySpace. Facebook had just started to come out and people were starting to use it, but it was very exclusive. And then, you know, when I graduated, when I was in uh, college, that's when everybody started using Facebook. Okay, so you go on there and now with Instagram and stuff, it's even more uh, pronounced. You have these like top tier looking guys with amazing looking women, you know, like jacked muscles and everything. And you're thinking, okay, well, I got to look like that. And I don't look like that. And even if I tried really, really hard, I'm probably still not gonna look like that because that guy is like top tier genetics. So you think, okay, well, I must be ugly because that's what I gotta look like to be getting with the women that I'm attracted to because clearly that's what they're into, right? Uh, and so you see that constantly. Also on social media, you see how much women complain about men. You see all the negativity, you see the things that are coming out that they're just like complaining about how bad men are and all of this stuff and they're shit talking them and they're you know projecting their own insecurities onto the web because that's what people do. You don't hear the happy people on the internet, you hear the negative people and then you see all of those things coming from your phone and you're thinking, shit, man. I must be ugly. The biggest thing for me though was what was happening in real life. I saw guys who were really good looking. I saw them getting approached by women at the bar. I got approached by no women at the bar. I didn't get women coming up to me and trying to make conversation with me. I didn't get women trying to help me out or interrupting me. And the ones that did, again, they were so far below what I was attracted to, I was honestly insulted when they showed interest. Um, you know, I didn't show it, I was polite, I was nice, but in my head I'm like, Jesus Christ, this is what, the, you know, I'm supposed to be getting, and uh, I didn't like it. When you get all of these messages, when you see all of the attention that women get, when you see all of the attention that these top tier guys get and you don't get that attention, then you start to feel bad. You know, is anybody checking on you when you're alone at the party? All of those things, those, tend to get to you over time. And yeah, after years, you're probably gonna think you're not attractive, dude. I thought that. So I was like, look, I'm just gonna try as hard as I can. And if I can make it work, I'll make it work. And if I don't, well, then I'll just find another way to be happy or you know, I'll kill myself. Like just literally what my, what my thought process was at that point, okay? What do I have to lose? So I just, I started going out there and I started trying really hard and yeah, I failed. It took me like six months before I got any success and even longer before I even got with somebody who I was actually attracted to, okay? And what I learned at that time was that as I started to go out and do the right kinds of actions, I actually got really good feedback. I was actually able to build something up, you know? When people didn't know me when I was a stranger, what I noticed was that they were much less friendly to me than if they knew me. And sometimes if they knew me and they were, and I was just an acquaintance or someone who just hung around and didn't provide any value, then they were still kind of not super nice to me. They didn't invite me out. They didn't, you know, I wasn't a respected member in the group. I felt like I was that friend that everybody forgot about, right? So what I learned was I learned that I actually had to provide value and actually had to create my own social circle. I started being proactive and I started being proactive for the first time in my life. Rather than hoping that somebody would come and be nice to me, I was like, no, I'm gonna create nice things for myself. I'm gonna create an environment for myself that works and lo and behold, once I did that and I started allowing myself to give value towards other people in this environment, that's when people really started to treat me well. And it started up here. It started up here with the way that I approached people. I got myself into a state that I call the flow state. Once you start getting a few positive reactions when you go out, you start to feel better about yourself. Your brain says, hey, I can talk to new people and they're not gonna be mad at me. They're not gonna be you know, being rude, making me feel worthless. I actually feel good. So your brain wants to talk to a new person now because you know you're gonna get that good feeling, right? And once you hit this state, it's called the flow state, and you just start doing and you stop thinking, okay? You stop getting in your head, overthinking every single situation. You stop being that guy that's like frozen all the time, you know, when you talk to somebody. You're not thinking, oh, what do I say next? You're just saying it. Once you get into that state, it feels like every single person you talk to is money. Every woman wants to sleep with you. Every guy wants to be you. Maybe not that far, but like you're up to a point where you feel just amazing about yourself. It's almost like gaining superpowers. And so when I got to that point, what happened to me was actually I was just ignoring all of the bad things. If a woman didn't like me or if I walked up to her and she was rude to me, I laughed. And I thought, oh man, she's having a bad day. Whereas before I would be like, yeah, I suck. I'm ugly, I'm unattractive, right? There was a flip of mindset there. 
And once I started getting into the flow state even more and more, what I began to realize was that I am not as unattractive as I think I am. It just takes a different approach. It just takes me doing different things every single day and I can be a better person. I can be the person that I want to be. It wasn't that I was unattractive. It was just that I wasn't being my best self. And I guarantee you, if you're watching this video right now, you are not being your best self. You are not being someone who actually you look at in the mirror and you think, hey, that person's an attractive person. Too many guys, they see all of these reference points and they think, hey, I must be unattractive. The truth is when a woman swipes left on you on a dating app, she is thinking about, hey, do I wanna date and be in a relationship with this guy? A lot of times they're thinking way far into the distance. Women are more selective for this reason. I've had women swipe left on me on a dating app. They meet me in real life and they sleep with me. How is that possible? It's possible because I didn't show my best self in a picture. And the truth is, how can you show your best self if it's in a photo? Yes, you can take better photos, you can improve your profile, you can get more matches, teach you guys how to do this. But when it comes to being in real life, you have a lot more opportunity to show a lot more. And if they met up with me, they saw the crew that I was hanging with, they saw me doing different things, they saw how funny I can be, they saw how like, you know, I was uh, more confident than they expected, they felt something different when they were in my presence. You don't get any of that with a photo. Second thing, on social media, yes, a lot of these guys have top tier genetics, a lot of these photos are edited, and a lot of these things, just because somebody clicks on a photo, you don't know how that person is gonna interact with you in real life. I've met so many influencer guys who, yes, they are very, very good looking, but they're DMing me, asking me for help with dating. How is that possible? It's possible because it's not real. Social media is not real life. It's fake. Okay, and so when you look at that and you compare yourself to it, you're comparing yourself to something that is not real. And the third thing, when it came to people not actually reaching out to me, when it came to people not being nice to me, that's how all guys are. Guys, you know, I'm not gonna be able to sugarcoat this for you, but if you are a stranger, you are less likely to have people be friendly to you than they are to a pretty girl. And they're less likely to be friendly to you unless you have like top tier genetics in terms of looks. Okay, you can look better, you can look more friendly, you can look more presentable, all of that can improve. But just, if everything's equal, you as a guy, being a stranger, people are gonna be more wary of you. That's just a fact of life. So what you have to do is this, I, you know, this is gonna be sound weird, but that is a benefit. It is a benefit. You have the ability to change your circumstance. It's not that they're gonna be so afraid of you that if you walk up and you're friendly to them, they're not gonna be friendly back. Sometimes they might not be friendly back, but that has nothing to do with you. That has to do with them and their own day, okay? So once I learned this, I started approaching people and talking to people in a different way. Rather than walking up and saying, hey, do you like me? I was walking up and thinking, hey, let's see if this person's cool. Let's see if I wanna hang around them. That mentality, that shift, really allowed me to start having better conversations with people rather than me trying to get something all the time and wanting, 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 then I started being a person that was allowing things to come to me. And when someone didn't want to talk to me, I didn't internalize it as I'm not an attractive person. I internalized it as, hey, sounds like that person's having a rough day. You know, whatever's going on with them, they hope they figure out. Or, hey, looks like that person's got to go do something. No problem, right? Once you enter a different state, once you change your mindset, everything becomes so much easier. And it took me time. It took me tons of reference points. I literally had to bulldoze my way through this because when I didn't bulldoze my way through it, I didn't get success. I had so many times where people would just up and walk away because I was coming in with this want, 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 want mindset and then they would run away because of it, okay? People don't want to be around people who like always want something from them. But when I was creating something, like let's say for instance, you know, when I first started going out, I was in San Francisco. I figured out that Dolores Park was a great place to go to hang out. So on Saturdays, I would go out and I would put the picnic blanket down and we'd, you know, get a group of people together and we'd hang out, we'd play with the dogs, we'd have games to play, we'd have some, you know, wine or whatever, champagne or something like that. And so I started inviting people to Dolores Parks to hang out at our picnic blanket, to hang out with our group. I would introduce them to people. I would see, hey, let's see if they gel well with this environment that I've created. Let's see if they gel well with me. Right? Let's not automatically try and uh, you know, assume that they are cool and try and get them to like me. Right? So many more people came to hang out. 
so many more people came to that into that environment. And guess what? I had way more fun because of it. And as I had more fun, it became easier to approach to people. As I got more people coming to me, I got more confident and I became more attractive. It snowballs, okay? When things are going great, they go great. And when things are going bad, when you're in a slump, when you're in a negative mindset, it can feel like everything that you're trying to do to get out of it isn't working. And you just feel in this really stagnant position where nothing's working, no one wants to work with you, no one wants to hang out with you, no girl wants to sleep with you, and as a result, you just feel worse and worse and worse. Digging yourself out of there can feel like the hardest position, but trust me, you can make it happen. And it's not because you are unattractive, it's not because you are hopeless, it's because you're not doing the right things. Think about how many times you have actually tried this. Okay, if you're a guy who's watching this video right now, a lot of times you don't know because you haven't actually tried. Most guys that I talk to, when I ask them, how many women have you realistically walked up to and approached? And if the number is less than 50, dude, have you really tried? In your whole life, 50 women. If you're a 25 year old guy, that means in the last five years, you've approached 10 women a year. That's less than one woman a month. <laughs> like, if you haven't done that, then you can't tell me that you have no ability to attract a woman. So a lot of times guys haven't even tried. And if they have tried, they've tried in the wrong ways. So I guarantee you, once you start actually making an effort, once you start actually getting out there, and making an effort, making an effort in the right ways, because a lot of times when I first started, I was making effort in the wrong ways. I was approaching people and just like, the worst way. I'm not even gonna say the way I did it because I, I don't want anyone getting any ideas. Once you approach people in the right way, that's when things really start to take shape, okay? And it has nothing to do with you being unattractive. You will be your best self when you do this. And that's why I've dedicated my time because once I started to get this, that's when I started to have friends that I liked. That's when I started to get girls that I liked. That's when I started to have a life that I actually woke up and looked forward to living. Nobody wants to wake up and feel like they're unattractive. Nobody wants to feel like they're unattractive all the time. But that's how I felt for most of my life. And it's not up until recently that I've really started to embrace the fact that I am who I am. Yeah, there are some things about me that I don't like. I feel like I'm too slim. I feel like, you know, my eyebrows arch too much. There's some things that I can change. But do I think I'm an unattractive person? Absolutely not. I believe that I am someone who has attraction. It's not just with my looks. I believe that with my positive energy that I can, you know, walk up to people. Because I know there's a lot of people watching this who are like, oh no, you're like, I'm, I'm a really ugly person or I'm short or whatever the reason is. Positivity and energy and what you're bringing to the table, that is much more attractive than your physical looks can ever be. And I know this because guys come to me who are extremely good looking that don't have this and they don't get the results with women, okay? Better looking than me, way better looking than me. I have a lot of clients who are better looking than me. So when you do this, you are going to get a lot better and your life's gonna feel a lot better. And that's what I help guys with. So if you want help with that, you guys, there's a form down below, click the link, fill it out. If you're a great fit, then we'll talk. But otherwise, that's my message. You are much more attractive than you think you are. And it's because you haven't been doing the right kinds of things. Start getting out there, start making an effort, and you will actually get to see what is possible in life. Good luck out there, you guys.